Hi there, this is Jill Erber of Cheese Tea sharing with you tonight one of my favorite and kind of obscure styles of wine. This is a wine difficultly pronounced chocolate. And it's difficultly pronounced because when you say chocolate, it's not so hard. But the fact that it's got that tricky little TX going on in the beginning makes it kind of a tongue twister. Fun wine to say, but even more fun to drink. So this wine is made in the Basque region. And the Basque region is that swath of land right along the north of Spain and the south of France. It's an ancient, ancient uh, region. They have very special um, history in and amongst themselves. They speak their own unique language there. Um, they have amazing food traditions ranging from wine um, to seafoods to all sorts of amazing little uh, snacky things that they call pinchos, um, sort of like tapas, but from the Basque region. So um, this wine comes from the Basque region. The cool thing about chocolate, or one, one of the many cool things about chocolate, is it is frizzante, or what we would call lightly effervescent. So this is not a full-on sparkling wine. It just has that wonderful little bubbliness, that, that tickliness in the mouth, uh, absolutely outstanding, light drinking, fun, summertime, get you through that entire season. Another really cool thing about this very special Basque wine is not only its exotic spelling uh, and its fun pronunciation, but the method by which this wine is traditionally poured when you are visiting uh, this region. And this is called, creatively enough, the Basque high pour. And what do we mean by a high pour? Um, a high pour means that the wine is literally poured from on high. And I'm gonna demonstrate that to you because it's a cool thing for you to do yourself you'll like impress your uh you know your friends and your kids and um all that good stuff but it adds a little bit of fun sort of festive nature to the pouring and drinking of this wine so when traditional uh chocolate is poured it is done so not in a wine glass but in some sort of tumbler uh, sometimes they're a little bit taller than this maybe a wider mouth but this is the same basic shape so the way that we start are you ready Grab your bottle of chocolate. Uh, mine is by uh, Basalore. I love it. This is a white chocolate. You will find some rosés, but they're very, very uncommon. So this is going to be our very traditional white chocolate. And the way that we are going to pour this, we're actually going to start normal, but our goal is that we end up pouring above the shoulder. I'm hoping that I do this without embarrassing myself too badly. Here we go. Ready? Start normal. Here we go. Raise up high. Ah, a little splash. And there we go. Now, the reason that we do this is not just because it looks really cool and fun, but because it actually helps to release a little bit more of that effervescent quality of the wine. I mean, it just tickles your nose even as you smell it. Mm, so good. So refreshing. Ah, oh, it's like a little spritzer right out of the bottle. So get yourself a bottle of chocolate pour away. It does take some practice. I mean, mine was not super refined. I have not yet gotten my Basque credentials of high pouring, but one day I will be there. Enjoy your chocolate.